All right, this is week three of starting a phone flipping business from scratch. We started out 14 days ago with a total of $1,000 and we're now starting out week three with a total of $4,170. All right, so I just got back from selling 90% of the phones that we bought last week and I'm just on my way now to drop off the final phones that we sold at the end of the video that we need to ship out. All right, so now that all of our phones are sold, we can finally start selling on eBay. There's just a couple things we need to go pick up first. All right, so I think I got everything that we're gonna need to get started selling on eBay. I picked up these generic chargers. They were like 75 cents each, as well as the matching power adapters so that we could ship every single phone that we sell on eBay with a brand new charger. It only costs $2, but it increases perceived value and it also helps everything sell a lot quicker. So grab these guys. I also made a bit of a mobile listing kit type thing. I got pretty much everything we need to clean a phone and get it ready for photos. And then this one might be a bit extra, but I actually, from when I raided my office, have this like laminate left over. So I have two pieces of laminate that I'm gonna keep in my trunk. So it kind of like looks like a backdrop of like a desk or something. That way, as soon as we pick up a phone, we could literally go straight to the trunk and take some pictures and get it listed. Might be a bit extra, but we have to move stuff as fast as possible and hit this $10,000 goal as fast as possible. All right, so it is the end of day one of week three, and it is by far the most profitable day we've had yet. Well, I guess it's not profitable until you sold them, but as far as projected profit, I think we're around like $900 in profit just for today, which is absolutely insane. And I think it's all thanks to eBay and being able to finally buy inventory for eBay. Let me explain what I mean by that. So up until now, we've been selling to local cell phone shops who buy all of our inventory, and it's been nice, I appreciate that and it's been very helpful. But as I've said in the previous videos and what's been frustrating, local shops pretty much only wanna buy inventory that's absolutely perfect condition. And I, when I say perfect, I mean like they don't want a single scratch on the phone or they wanna buy inventory that is broken so that they could fix it and make it in perfect condition. Which essentially means that 90% of the phones that were on Facebook Marketplace when we were looking the first two weeks were not in good enough condition to buy for our local buyers or cell phone shops, but they also weren't bad enough that you could get a good price on them and buy them as broken to sell that way. A lot of the inventory on Marketplace, we couldn't even buy. Which is honestly why I've been so excited about finally being able to do eBay. Just cause sure, we could maybe make a little bit more on them because of eBay, but that's not even what the bonus is and why I'm excited about it. It's literally just because that the customer base is so much bigger and the people buying phones are actually the end consumer who don't care about a little scratch or something like that, that we're able to buy so so many more phones on Marketplace and it's gonna be substantially easier to source inventory for the rest of this challenge. For example, our local buyers wouldn't buy this one because of this little scratch right there, which otherwise, the phone's perfect and most people would buy that without issue. Or on this white one, if you look very closely, you can see some slight scratches on the screen. The average person who's actually shopping for themselves these little scratches or a little ding in the corner if the rest of the phone's perfect and functional is a non-issue and they're still gonna pay a good price for it. But locally, these shops, they're selling for a premium even above eBay so high that they sell their inventory in like perfect condition without like anything and they literally won't buy something like this because of that little ding on the bottom. Having access to all the phones that have little dings or little issues just makes us so much easier and gives us access to so many more phones and that is why I recommend eBay eBay so much. It's not just about how much you could sell the phones for, it's about how much easier it is to source inventory by using them. Also, we are being transparent with the condition of these phones. We're showing the scratches, we're showing people on eBay exactly what they're buying. We're not scamming anyone here. They know what they're getting and people are okay with buying inventory in this condition. Hold off your comment. I, I know you're going there. That's not how this works. We're being honest. All right, so I just picked up this 128 GB iPhone 12 for $300 like five minutes ago. And I wanna show you guys how efficiently we could get our phones listed using this makeshift car photo setup. All right, so first we grab this little kit I made to clean the phone and we actually go ahead and clean the phone. Then we put together our little makeshift laminate desk, throw some chargers in there. Then we take our photos. And within like five minutes of picking up this phone, we already have it up on eBay, ready to be sold. All right, so it is the end of day two. Not as busy as yesterday by any means, but we did get this iPhone 12 that I showed you guys earlier, which for $300, super solid buy. 
Again, eBay is OP, has some little scratches at the bottom that there's no way these local buyers would have bought, but because we're selling on eBay, grabbed it for 300, this is probably a pretty easy 150, maybe even $180 flip. So even on slow days, we could get some good money when we could buy inventory like this. That being said, I was looking at some of the prices I listed everything at yesterday, and I think it's no wonder we haven't had our first sale yet. I was, I don't know what I was thinking. I priced some of these a little high. Well, I definitely think they would sell if we had the two to three weeks I usually give inventory to sell. I don't think they're gonna sell fast at the prices that I have them listed for. So I'm gonna go through and lower quite a few of our prices just so that we could get some sales and get some money back from eBay as well. Because while we do have some capital, we're definitely not in a place where we could sit on inventory forever. I didn't end up filming much on day three, but we were able to buy this iPhone 11 with a cracked camera lens for $150, as well as this iPhone 12 with a very damaged screen for $175. All right, what's up? So it is Friday and it is shaping up to be a very profitable day. Debatably one of our most profitable days yet. We just started out the day picking up this iPhone 12 with a cracked back glass for $200. We're just finishing up charging now and then we're gonna go pick up another phone which is a 12 Pro Max for $250. It's in great condition, just has a cracked screen. All right, so this next set of phones we're about to pick up might just be the most profitable deal we've ever had on this channel. Last night, I found this girl who listed two iPhone XRs, both for $60 and I set both of those up. I locked those in right away, which would have been honestly an amazing deal as is. I would have been fired up if we just got these two XRs and that was part of the day. But then she messaged me this morning, letting me know that she also had an iPhone 12 in perfect condition that she wanted to sell for $120. Obviously I said I'd grab it as well. And now we're just up the street about to pick up two iPhone XRs for $120 total. It was a perfect condition iPhone 12 for another $120. Assuming everything works out here, I think this is the most profitable deal we've ever had on this channel and this is really gonna help us get to that goal of hitting ten thousand dollars all right so we just got back from picking up both of the xrs as well as the iphone 12 which by far is the best deal we've had probably on the channel ever but for sure in this series if you look at the profit on this deal these ones we both bought for 60 bucks we're probably gonna sell them for like 240 ish which is what we've been selling xrs for and then this 120 dollar 12 is absolutely perfect condition and we're selling those these on eBay for like 420, 430 right now. I will say there's definitely some luck in this. You're not gonna find deals like this often. It's not common to get $60 XRs or $120 iPhone 12s, but all I will say is if you show up every single day for three weeks straight and someone does post a deal this good, you're probably gonna be the one who gets it. So I did also make a quick stop on the way back to my parts store to grab a screen for this iPhone 12 that has the LCD damage that I'm gonna go ahead and switch over now. And I also, for this 11, I've already done the repair. These are like two bucks. I just bought a bunch of the replacement lenses so we could get this fixed and get it up on eBay. I'm not fixing all the phones that we bought that were broken, but these two are very inexpensive and we make an extra like 100 bucks per phone by fixing them. So I'm just gonna get these repaired real quick. All right, so all the phones are listed and all the phones have been fixed. So now we just have to wait for some of our eBay listings to start selling. I also just locked in this iPhone 13 Pro Max with a cracked screen for $500. We're gonna be picking up tomorrow morning. Very good deal. And I think it's a sure thing because she went ahead and marked it as sold for us. I am feeling very good about where we're at with this challenge right now. Just started out the day picking up the 13 Pro Max that we found last night. Everything seems to be working great, except for obviously the cracks, which we knew about, and is also why we got it for $500. So not a bad start to the day. And we're actually now just heading out to pick up another iPhone 13 Pro Max. This one's 256 gigabytes, also $500, but it does also have cracks on the screen. Still a good buy. All right, so we just got back from picking up our iPhone 13 Pro Maxes, and I came back to see that we made our first eBay sale, which is for this iPhone 12 128 gigabyte that sold for $385, which I believe leaves us with like $350 after eBay fees, which isn't bad at all because we paid $200 for this a couple days ago. There is absolutely no chance that any of our local buyers would have paid us $380 for a cracked back glass iPhone 12. All right, so 
We by far have the most inventory we've ever had in this entire series. And I know we're doing good. I know we're doing pretty solid in terms of what these will sell for. But I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly input everything into our spreadsheet just so that I could get an idea of what our inventory is actually worth and how we're doing in this series. I just finished up adding all of our inventory to the inventory tracker. At the current moment, once we sell all of our inventory, our current inventory value is $6,720, which honestly, that that's wild to me considering the fact that we started out 20 days ago with like a thousand dollars we have like 15 phones worth of inventory now total and we start we started a month ago with a thousand dollars so by far this is probably the most confident i felt in the fact that we're going to be able to hit this ten thousand dollars pretty quickly and we're going to be able to accomplish it and I'm feeling very fired up given the fact that 20 days ago we had a thousand dollars and now like, like I get it we still have to sell the phones but I've been doing this long enough I know they're gonna sell we have over seven thousand dollars once all said and done in capital 20 days after we had a thousand pretty confident we're gonna really accomplish this pretty quickly now feels like as good a time as any to let you guys know that i have officially released my phone flipping course and it's available for purchase down in the description below it's by far the most comprehensive piece of content i've ever made and it goes into more detail than i can possibly go into on this channel on how to start your own phone flipping business and it answers a lot of the questions you guys have been asking shows my exact strategies and frameworks and it pretty much step by step just shows you exactly how to start your own profitable phone flipping business exactly like the one i've been showing you guys in this series and in the videos on this channel don't want to make this that hard of a pitch if you're interested and that's something you've been looking for which i know a lot of you guys have been messaging me and asking for that just click the link below you can get more information on the curriculum and everything we go over and then you can purchase it and get immediate access as soon as you buy the course well this is all very exciting and we already doing good we do still need to sell these phones to actually hit our goal so we're just heading out now to go drop off both of our 13 pro maxes to get the glass replaced on them so that we could sell them in perfect condition all right so i just finished off dropping off the phones for repair the both of the 13 pro maxes we actually also ended up selling the technician the 12 pro max we bought the other day for 250 we ended up selling it for 450 dollars which works out to like pretty much the same we'd end up getting from ebay after it sold so i figure Capital back is still a good thing at this point, so it didn't hurt to sell it and get some money back. And we're actually currently at the Tesla chargers, just waiting to meet up with someone for an iPhone 12 Pro Max with a cracked back glass that we're gonna be picking up for $350. It's also 256 gigabytes, so this is a very good deal. I don't think I highlighted that enough. 256 gigabyte 12 Pro Max for $350. Just picked up this $200 iPhone 13 that just has a little crack on the screen. Actually, no way. We just got a $200 iPhone 13 that was supposed to be cracked. It was literally just the screen protector. Damn, once I removed it, there's not a single crack on this thing. Already a crazy flip I was excited about, especially because it was like five minutes away from the last one we picked up. This might take the lead on the best flip of the channel. All right, so I don't know if this is cheating, but I'm gonna be sending her $100 extra. It'll be separate money from the challenge money. It'll be my own money. I just feel really bad. She was honest. She genuinely thought that phone had a crack on it and price it that way i don't know i feel bad just not letting her know that there it was just the screen screen protector so i'm gonna send her the hundred dollars it's separate from the challenge we did technically buy this phone for two hundred dollars i just me personally i'm making videos for fun here to make the ten thousand dollars i don't need to make that hundred dollars and i call it cheating if you will but I, I just think it's unfair all right so just made a quick stop on the way back and we also picked up this iphone 12 it's in pretty rough shape but no cracks or anything for 245 dollars which i think we should be able to sell for like 350 after ebay fees and we're also just about to head out and sell some phones phones, which is not something I planned on doing. I wanted to spend the rest of the challenge selling on eBay, but one of our buyers reached out and he asked if I had any A-grade stock, which is essentially just like perfect condition stock. And five of our phones were considered A-grade and in perfect condition. So, so I sent him my list 
let him know what I had and showed him my eBay prices and he was willing to pay my eBay prices for the phones. We're not doing well enough that I can say no to someone who wants to buy phones at asking price. So I'm gonna go get these sold. So hopefully we go into week four with a bit more capital to buy phones to hopefully finish off the challenge next week. We ended up selling the buyer three iPhone 12 64 gigabyte models for $380, as well as both of our 128 gigabyte iPhone 12s we bought earlier this week for a total of $435 each. We also ended up selling one of our iPhone XRs on eBay for a total of $235, ending off week three with a total of $2,527 in capital and another $5,300 in inventory.